All right, heading deeper into, or actually just heading into the Southern Empire. I want to look, we already know that these three villages right here are prime as far as animals are concerned. So let's just go straight to them. Let's do these upgrades. We still need to train our troops. And this is how we're going to do it. Hopefully they resist. They did not. They just gave us our two hogs. Now we'll have to raid. And it'll be... We already know that we're not going to get much out of it. Because we only got two hogs. So they had a total of four hogs. Let's carry on to the sheep village. Watching for any southern empire forces. Okay, these guys are going to resist. That's brilliant. I need that training. And of course, I've already mentioned how I like this type of map. Shield wall. Go a little deeper out so that the archers have better more room to shoot over you and have the archers come over here make it even better all right they've got 17 of their own archers that seem to be holding back which is not good all right i'm gonna have our archers actually move a little further uh to the left and point in this direction I think their archers, what happened with them is they got caught up on those the stone walls over there. So they had to go around. Okay, guys, break up and charge. Archers, you can change. And I want to run over here towards the edge of the map. If the enemy breaks, they probably start running in this direction. I don't know what kind of trees these are, but this orchard is terrible for visibility. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there's another one. Time to harpoon. Where's that one that was caught on the trees? There he is. All right. Got a point in throwing. And we have eight upgrades, which is always great. I will go ahead and take those right now. That two weeks I took grabbing horses, battalion hobbies, and war horses is paying off now. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to make these upgrades on our cavalry and heading on to Sagora now while I'm thinking about it let me check the city's prosperity levels Omor is now the most prosperous city in the region in Omor I have only a linen weavery, so we may want to consider moving this tannery to Omor, because not only is it closer, and it was easier for me to get to, but Omor is much more prosperous. Well, I don't know about much more, but more prosperous than Revel, so that might be the smart move to make. I'll, I'll consider that here in a little bit. And they are resisting. Troops, move. Arch, move. And let's see what we got here as far as the looks. It being dark, it's difficult for me to tell. It's a nice moon, though. Nicely modeled moon, as far as I'm concerned. The only time I like night battles, well, I don't never like night battles, but I will admit they do look nice when you're sieging. And you have the fire, the fire version of the siege weapons. That is nice to look at, I guess you could say. Hmm.
Now, I do believe when the game first came out, there was it was established that in nighttime, archers' fire distance is less. So, and naturally, in the darkness, they can't see as far. Corinne can see, though. She's firing already. That's about 180 when she opened up. I, I'm sorry. Probably more like 125 when she opened up. The closer group was the enemy archers, and I was looking at the infantry. Come on, girl. Get a kill at least. I like the way our cavalry is holding their shields over their heads. It's taken their, their foot troops an awful long time to get to us. They all stopping and throwing rocks as they get closer. Throwing something. Okay, guys, spread apart. And charge. There's one way over here. Difficult for me to see due to the darkness. All right, another skill point, or another point in throwing. And one more. There we go. Only nine upgrades. 95, five away from 100 in medicine, which is very good. We can hold all these prisoners. And two sheep. All right. Chances are the AI has been triggered. So they'll be coming to this area. Let's see if we can... Well, first I'm going to run to Zianica. Nope, Amatetes is closer. And get rid of what we have now. And then I'll come back. I don't know where... They might be over here. I was just going to say, I don't know where the Southern Army forces are. They may be over here trying to defend Joe Guri's castle, which was a linchpin in one of our previous videos between the Southern Empire and the Kuzates. Now, it's being fought over again. Ransom. We'll take that 378. And we want to kill the animals. Nothing here that I want to buy. Hmm. Yeah, this is all garbage because it was from militia and peasants. Get rid of it. All right, 2100. Now heading out again. Less head towards the direction of this combat up here because if there are uh oh looks like we lost that one I was just going to say if there's combat up here there may be some stragglers that we can jump on Tover's army is still up here how big is he 299. I don't know if we can make it in time. But I'm guessing since one army was just obliterated by the Southern Empire, there's a good chance they may be somewhat depleted and that Tover may win a battle with them. Either case, I want to head in that direction. Nope, Tover just lost. So how large is this army for the Southern Empire? I guess we're going to find out. And they're... We may, you know what, if I can get into Zacanus, I will take him. Oh, look at that. It was 12, 1300 total. And 
I want to be very careful here because I don't want to. If you oh, there was one south coming back. toward us. All right, we've got to win this battle and be on our way because we're going to have that debuff to speed from this organization. And we've got a lord coming from the south and two huge armies coming from the north. And what's going to happen is we're going to be very slow. This guy's going to run in and try to jump us and pin us in place while these guys come to catch us. And we don't want that to happen. So we need to already know what we're going to do when we start this battle. So we're going to try to win as quickly as possible and then run south. Assuming we win. Which means my usual Sturgeon tactic, run in the infantry as fast as possible. We're going to... Let's go. And they're running back. They're going to run to that hill, it looks like. So I'm going to just continue running in, have our cavalry come up to the left. I'm going to want my infantry right there. Not No, not attack. Archers right there. Horsemen, come on, hurry. Get up here. That is 40 archers. And as long as they're fired at me, I'm okay with that. I'm a moving target left to right. Whereas my forces are coming directly at them and much easier to hit. Where's my horse? Okay, horse, come up. Go after their cavalry right there. Oop. Archers, you can fire. Infantry, get in here. Come on, get up there. This is where you just have to rely on your infantry to be the shock force that it, it needs to be against these horses. The archers are going to have to fend for themselves. The infantry is pushing on through. And they're going to fire at will as they form a shield wall. I'm going to see if I can help out a little bit here. Oh, hit my guy in the back of the head. Okay, infantry, advance. We want F4 to engage. They'll march in formation towards the enemy. The enemy archers are disengaging and backing up. Okay, now my guys just run. If you lose a few, you lose a few. But overall, it's that infantry that's going to win the battle. And that's what you have to rely on as a sturgeon. Okay, they're running. Pull out the axe. The spiked battle axe. All right, harpoon. Oh, all right, he's come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, ah. That's always annoyed the heck out of me also how they the enemy will actually disappear before they actually reach this line here and that annoys the heck out of me okay oh we lost nothing I got a lot of upgrades myself M most important to me is I'm only three away from 100 medicine I do love my medicine perks and we got six morale 245 gold only. All right, we're going to take Julius. No, I think it's Petros, right? Is the leader? Yeah, okay, so we'll let him go. Take whatever prisoners we can hold. Of course, we may have to ditch those prisoners, but for now, we're going to take them. All right, I've got 16 spearmen to upgrade. I've got 18 spearmen, heavy spearmen, and 12 axemen. I always want to have more spearmen than axemen, so I'm going to go with... Ten spearmen and six axemen. And everything everybody else is just a straight upgrade. 
take the loot. And I keep saying I'm going to change my shield, and I always forget to. Let's see if I can remember to do it now since I'm thinking about it. What was... I must have sold... Did I sell that round shield I was using earlier? I must have. So I'm going to have to keep this because I just have to have a round shield. All right, now, to speed south away from those two large armies. Looks like they turned around anyway. I think we're going to make it. Where is the nearest... Believe it or not, it's Mysia. Mm, let me head back south. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I thought they gave up, but they're still coming. And it's very dangerous to go in here because you've only got two routes. And if someone comes in at both entrances, you're blocked. You may have seen a video earlier where the exact same thing happened to me when I was in just behind Ox Hall up here. I think it was. Yeah, we got caught right here, and I was forced into battle with Death Hurt leading one army and I think Lucand against another army. It turned out okay in the end, but I don't like getting caught in those situations. So instead, we're going to run after... Can I catch him? Yeah, we're going to run after Satros and catch him. Let me make sure that everybody can be upgraded. See, I'm glad I checked this. There's 13 upgrades right there. And there's no one I can recruit, even though we have one open slot. All right, let's go. You know we're at war. Surrender or die. Unfortunately, it's dark. Dark-er. All right, and I'm going to, obviously, before I even see what they're doing, my goal is to run as fast as possible to the water. I don't know if they're going to come at us or not, but I definitely want to be at the water as soon as possible. Oh, the power... Power bar at top says we're well within our it's within our capability to handle. Infantry. But we'll see. Forward. Now I'll check and see what they're actually doing. Okay, they're running from us. Alright, so chances are they're gonna run over there to those hills. Because that's the direction they're running in. Footmen. So let me just have my entire army follow me. There's only five enemy archer, uh, mounted archers, so let's see if I can take one or two out. Apparently not. I can get one only. Oh, there we go. Two. I always try for the headshots. I can't remember if I yet have that perk that increases the damage you do for headshots, but it's just best for me to just always go for the headshot, and then it's normal to me when it comes time when I do finally get that perk. Come on, dice. Run faster. Footman. And we'll have the footman go right there and the archers right here. Horseman. I'm going to have the horseman come around to our left. Now we're getting to the point where Double. I may want to consider breaking the horseman into two different formations. But typically I don't like to do that until we have someone to command them. And if I broke them up right now, Cavalry. It would be, uh, they have nine and nine, and we would have to have a smaller group. So if I leave them combined for now, I think that'll work. And these guys are just going to run back and forth, right, left to right. Only eight archers, so I'm not particularly concerned about sitting here in front of them like this. All right. Let's see what kind of damage my archers can do. How far away are they? About 85. All right, I'm on. Now I'm going to send our horse in on their right flank. Give them something else to think about while the archers do the work here. I don't think we've killed anything, have we? Let's let's stop the archers firing. Korean just got a kill. Infantry. Move these guys right on up in there. Move, Move the archers over here. Move. Try to half the distance. And then Archer. allow them to start firing again. Fire, and at the same time, Infantry. shield wall the infantry. Wall. With the archers closer, they should do more damage. We should start to see more kills. And I'm going to have them come in even closer. 
Okay, now their left flank is charging, which means they'll go directly for the archers. Unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. Remember, as I said when I started this, the archers and the cavalry and my Sturgeon, Sturgeon forces are just there for a distraction, more or less. All right, advance. Not that in me, that in me. All right, now that the infantry's broke up and their archers are, are looking in all different directions, now we charge in. Their infantry has no cohesive line whatsoever, and their archers are just turned in all, all directions. So now the infantry charges in. I'll take that 99. We might get 100 in medicine out of this battle. I would really like that. Woo! Corinne got, oh, two. She's only two away from 200. I think they got that covered. Let's see if we can get these kills before they reach the map edge. I don't think we can get them all. For one, there's too many of them and I don't have enough harpoons. Especially if I miss like that. Let's get this furthest one and then switch to the axe. Alright, we got him. I got a point in throwing. We lost nothing. I'm one away from the next medicine perk. Two away from the next polearm perk. And Corinne is two away from the next perk in archery. And 19 upgrades. Excellent. We'll let him go. He's not part of the ruling. Well, we can't hold all these, so we're going to sort them and take the highest level ones first. Now, T2, do I have any prisoners that are less than T2? Yes. We'll drop them, which gives us an opening of five. All right. That's it. We've got the max amount of money we can get from prisoners. Take all the loot. Be certain we'll do these upgrades right now. 18 to 28. There's only eight of them. I'm actually going to give that to the Axemen. We still have more heavy spearmen than Axemen. And where was I going? Mysia. We need to ransom these prisoners off. We got 79 of them. How much is that slowing us down? That's a little more than half a speed point. So we definitely want to get rid of them. And while I'm thinking about that, oh my goodness, we've got 10 of our guys as prisoners, and they have none. Ransom these for 3300 Sell what we can. That's a lot of prisoners to have this early in the game. When we don't have... I don't think at no time do the Sturgeons have a huge amount of clans. But right now I know we don't have very many. Look at that lordly helmet. I definitely want that. Not only is it better armor, but it's lighter. So I will take that. What else do we have here? Mm, it's all junk after that. Yep. Now let's see if... I'm pretty sure... Okay, we'll, she can have this. It's better. And she looks better in that scarf type anyway. And I think that's going to be it for useful stuff. Now you'll notice I always switch over to Hans before I, I click done. Because the character that is on the screen that you have selected when you click done during a trade transaction is the one that gets any XP that's going to be awarded. So for example if you're a trader and you have more than one character always make sure you're on your trade character when you click done because that's the ones whose skill set is going to be affected. Alright now this is a regular it's it's better it's a regular knight's kite shield but again I've 
Call me crazy, but I just, I've got to have a, I'm going to, this fortified kite shield. I'm going to uh, not use it because I just have to have a round shield when I'm playing Sturgeons. That's just the way it is. I, I'm still not happy about <laughs> looking like a clown, but so be it for now. We're getting finally getting some money, and I will be able to buy some armor here soon. But it's most important that we get our troops up to a level that we stand a chance if we actually jump in on some decent combat. Looks like all this is going to go. So that's 22.2. .2. And there is a tournament here. What is it? Okay, now this, I actually like this. Early game, this is a really good, it's very decent. It's what I, I call this the Valandian armor because I think it's very prevalent over in Valandia. But what I have is 28, 11, and 11. And if I'm not mistaken, if I'm correct, that armor is 34, 12, and 12, I think. So I definitely want to take that armor. We want to win this tournament if we can. Okay, yeah, 34, 12, and 12. So it's better. It's better armor, although I believe it weighs more. Any, anyway, we're going to see if we can win this battle. So does Karen win her battle? Yes, she does. And let's go in and see if I can win my round. Because I do want this armor. That should allow me to... I'll put it on myself and then give what I'm wearing to Karen. And I believe what I'm wearing is better than what she has on We'll see. I'm not going to spend a lot of... I'm going to try and win this as quickly as possible. And I didn't want to hit that Javelin Thor, even though that was the biggest threat, because that is Corinne. I want her to get some experience in something. Even if it's experience in Javelin, it's experience towards the level of her character. And we'll... can possibly give focus points. Okay. So any experience for her is good experience. When you can't get the experience you want, take whatever you can get. Okay, this guy's just going to chase me, and I'm not going to get a far enough lead to be able to turn. And, no, nope, not maneuverable enough. I was trying to get a couch lance in there, but couldn't do it. All right, Corinne is taking out the ground troops. I need to take this guy out so that it's not a two-on-one situation. And even, if I'm, she did it. Okay. Oh, I got to get that shield. Ah, see if I can get back on the horse. Luckily, she's not very good at tossing the javelin. I'm going to have to take out his horse because, again, that ridiculous block where he just holds it over his head and he blocks everything. Mm. I think she, yep, she's out of javelins now. So I think I can get some speed and try to take him out and then I'll face her on foot if I can get to him. Nope, he sidestepped me. Something the AI can do but the player can't. Not like that. Nope! The couch didn't take. I pressed X but it didn't take quickly enough. Let's try this again. Woo, I hit her by mistake. Well, I'm just going to take him on foot. Sorry, Corinne. He's trying for my horse. Did you see that? <laughs> if it, Had he not been trying for my horse, I wouldn't have been able to just swat him on the head. Okay. Well, she's out of the battle. I don't have to worry about it now. All right. I've got some talk throwing weapons. Oh, dude. See how that... That tracked me as I moved to the left. After he threw it, it actually tracked me. Good AI skills, that. Wish I had him. Whoop. Okay, moving on. I'm going to face this Batanian hero. Try to end this as quickly as I can. Step back. Oh, yeah, but he caught me. He caught me. His timing was excellent in that instance. Let's try this again. Backing up. Open. There you go. All right. I got that armor. Now I'm going to throw it on and see it. Hopefully what I'm wearing is better than she has, and I can give it to her. 
I definitely do like this armor. See, it's it's 15. It's five more weight units, whatever weight unit is in this game. Now let's see about her. It's hmm. It's better in the arm, which I like, but it's not. It's less in the body armor. It's lighter though, so I'm going to give it to her. Yep, I'm going to give it to her. She's very susceptible to long range weaponry, so anything that increases her arm armor is good. Even though I think Ranger Mel is what would be best for her. I just didn't like the stats on it. Now then, we've sold what we needed to. We've done the upgrades. And I can have one more troop. I don't have any to recruit yet. I'm still... Well, for one thing, what in the world is Olek doing way over here in Kuzate land? That I do not know. But it doesn't look like he's doing anything that would cause this southern empire to head in that direction. So we're going to take a chance and go east back to Joguri's castle. Oh, look to Radius. I'll take him on if we can get to him. Yep. We're going to run him down. Now then, come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would I, ask you for your name. I'll tell you what my name is in the next video. Ciao.